Thanks for watching. Today I've got my friend Jill with me and we're going to make gluten-free shortbread using Frankie's all-purpose flour blend. So Jill, how do we make shortbread that's gluten-free? Um, shortbread is pretty simple. It's just either butter or butter substitute with sugar. You whip that all up and then you just add in your flour. That sounds really easy. So today I want to use margarine okay. because I'm lactose intolerant and I want to see just how great it's going to taste. So let's add the butter and let's whip that up into the, the mixer. Okay, so this is, this doesn't have to be whipped as much, I guess, as regular butter does, does it? No, um, because the margarine is naturally soft anyway. Um, you just need to whip in some air into it, just to make sure it's, it's well combined. Okay, so I'll take that, thank you. Right, there we go. There we go. Look at that. And then add the sugar. So let's turn that down so we don't get the sugar everywhere. Wonderful. And I guess we're adding the sugar just to make sure that it's all well combined. And then scrape down the sides, I guess. Yeah, let's scrape down the sides. There, I'll let you scrape. Oh, look at that. Okay. I want to lick that already. I know. <laughs> so now let's add the flour half at a time. So I'll do there's one and a little bit. There we go. And then we'll just slowly mix that in. We'll just get that mixed in. Just so that it, the butter has a chance to grab onto it. And you can see already it's starting to form yeah. in the mixer. And should we be scraping it down again? And once we stop, before we add the next flour, okay. we'll scrape it down and we'll add the rest of the flour. In. Alrighty. So let's add the rest of the flour. Okay. So we'll scrape, shut it off and scrape it. I'll let you scrape. I'm awkward here. But... <laughs> there we go. Come oh, on, that looks great. And I am just going to do this. Okay. There we go. And let's mix it until it's just combined. Does it go any, need to go at a faster speed or is that okay? That's perfect. Oh, wow, that's easy. It is easy, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to shut it off. Let's take it down. And we'll pull this out. Scrape it all off. And do you have to grease your pan? No, because there's so much butter or butter substitute in the recipe, it just naturally greases the pan, I guess. Okay. Okay. It's very wet. So this baking it in like a pie pan that's the real scottish way of doing it isn't it yeah oh it's and it's great what's nice about this recipe is you can double and triple and quadruple and quintuple the recipe as many times as you need and the recipe works out the same way every single time perfect okay that. <laughs> is that too wet i don't believe so okay but i'm just going to spread it out because it's all going to bake. Mm -hmm. Now, when I've seen it on, on TV, they've got the, the cuts in it. The do you do that marks. when it's cool? or? Um, I would probably, because of how wet this is, I would probably score it after. Okay. Because, I mean, I, yeah. can, I can... Yeah, the knife will just... It'll, it'll make it funny, yeah. funny lines in it. Or oh, maybe not. Not bad. No, I guess we can score it. Uh, what do you think? Eight? Yeah. Oh, that. 
and you can see it's, it's yeah doing a little bit but that's okay the the baking will fix that uh-huh and then when we do a proper cutting of it it'll it'll look much Great. better it looks nice now actually it does don't need it yeah. now no so we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and then we'll just wait until it's golden and we'll take a look and see what it looks like at the end Great. Oh, oh, smell that gel. It smells wonderful. Oh, it does. So we're going to let that cool and then we're going to enjoy that. But that is gluten-free shortbread um, made from scratch. It doesn't get much easier than that. Yeah. And it's just... Three ingredients. You, three you ingredients. You can't beat it. Yeah. And you could be the rave of the party if you took a box of these to, to the party or give them to your boss or yeah. whatever. So thanks for watching. Um, thank you, Jill, for, oh, for joining welcome. us on this. And you're very welcome. I look forward to uh, reading some of the comments down below of whether you tried this, if you liked it, and even what some of the recipes you'd like to see us do. Mm -hmm. Thanks.